Investors are a worried lot after Reserve Bank of India Governor Shakti Kanta Das delivered a cautious monetary policy statement on Wednesday. While announcing a fifth consecutive interest rate hike, the RBI governor said that CPI-based inflation is unlikely to reach the median level of 4% over the next year. This was due to core inflation, which remains sticky and elevated amid an uncertain geopolitical situation. According to Das, the medium-term inflation target is exposed to heightened uncertainties. Further calibrated monetary policy action is warranted to keep inflation inflation expectations anchored break the core inflation persistence and contain second round effects analysts reading through the fine print said india has yet to reach the peak of its monetary tightening cycle they see sustained rate hikes ahead with another 25 bips repo rate hike possible in february 2023 puneet pal the head of fixed income at pgim india mutual fund has this to say so we do think that uh, inflation probably can remain higher than 4% which is the mid target of our npc's uh, range of 2 to 6% but definitely it will come down below the current levels that we are seeing right now which is above 6% so from rbi's own forecast they expect inflation to come down uh, towards uh, 5.4 by q uh, q2 of fy24 uh, and also the fact that uh, we have seen commodity prices moderating uh, we have also uh seen that uh, the aggressive uh, action taken by the central banks across the curve is leading to slowdown in the, in the economy the yield curves are inverted so inflation can remain high above uh, 5% uh, for the next uh, three quarters but it will definitely lower than what we are seeing right now so in that context uh, we think the rates probably uh, can remain elevated uh, presenting a good opportunity for the investors to capture this elevated rates over the next uh, two three quarters The policy wasn't sanguine on the growth front either. The RBI governor revised the gross domestic product or GDP growth forecast for the current financial year to 6.8% from 7% earlier. Against this backdrop, how should investors manage their portfolios? Should they move to fixed income instruments or stick to equities? We think it's very good time to lock into uh, fixed income instruments or uh, I will say debt mutual funds in particular. at these current uh, higher rates or elevated rates uh, we have seen the rates being pretty low over the last two years uh, post covid uh, since uh, may of this year uh, rates have been started to go up and we think that um, this presents a ideal opportunity for investors to lock into uh, these elevated yield levels uh, simply because of the fact that uh, going ahead we do expect inflation to come down and uh, at these yield levels when the entire yield curve is above 7% we see uh, real rates to be positive going ahead and also from a nominal rate perspective 7% plus across the curve looks a very ideal uh, uh, rate environment to get locked into at these yield levels as regards equities analysts expect markets to remain range bound in the near term i I think uh, it will be range bound because it has already recovered uh, to all time high, and uh, uh, it will not be worried about uh, recession, you know, or inflation. You more worried about the uh, outlook for corporate earnings because WPI inflation has come down, you know, consumer inflation has come down. Now oil price has crashed to by 38 percent from the peak, and the Rabi crab, Karib crab, all are good. So you know the inflation concern is going going down. but at the same time the growth concern is also increasing because gdp growth is also getting revised downward therefore i believe we are close to the peak of the interest rate cycle in india i am not worried about what us will do and hence the market concern will be how soon the corporate earning will recover rather than on global recession or uh, global inflation as regards today markets will track the assembly election outcome of gujarat and himachal pradesh Besides, weekly futures and options expiry and global queues will guide investor sentiment. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.